Hello and welcome to Matthew's Music Lesson Studio and the sound live. I am so incredibly excited to have for the first time on my channel a special guest all the way from Indonesia. Welcome to the sound moan prank everyone. Hello everybody. Hello. My friend, we've been talking for a while, and I am so grateful you stayed up into the wee hours of the night to, so that you could join us. Also, uh, for this special Alip Bata reaction special, we have the one and only Jennifer Valaket. Jennifer, Hi. how are you doing today? Good. How are you? Thanks for having me again. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer's a, a saxophone player, a flute player, and she is also a music teacher. Check out Jennifer's music page. And we have Evelyn Holland. Evelyn is a rock music singer, songwriter, and leader of the Keys of Solomon. Hi, Matt. Hey. Okay. I'm really excited about this show. It's all completely dedicated to Elite Bata because we have the one and only Moan Prank, friend of Elite Bata here with us. There she is, Sarah Olsen's joining us now too. Excellent. And so we have we have the lovely Sarah Olsen joining us as well. Hello, there she is, all the way from the UK. Hi. So this is this is crazy. Hello. We have this crazy triangle going on right now between between you know America and Indonesia and the UK, this crazy worldwide broadcast going on. I'm so grateful you all could be here. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for inviting me again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, give us a nice introduction. This is a really pretty song, and I've actually heard, I've actually um, heard it on flute a few times. I think I might actually do this on flute, maybe. Um, it's just really pretty, and it's. Uh, I think it's um, based off of the movie, but um, or it's from the movie. Um, but anyway, it's it's just a beautiful song, and um, I heard it on TikTok, and I for I almost forgot about it. I heard it on TikTok, and then I noticed the leaf did it, and I was like, okay, well, I got to see his version for sure. So I haven't watched it yet on pur on purpose. So um, I'm sure his is awesome. So maybe I'll end up collabing yeah. with this with this one. Who knows on flute or something again? But <laughs> yeah. um, I actually love this song, and like I I just um. I, I do a lot of Native American stuff for other things, and it, this song is just really, really cool. So <laughs> that's basically it. Yeah. And um, this one is really neat because we're going to get to see him um, use his uh, dynamo that he created, right? Yeah. I'm excited. It's his homemade Ebo that he made from a uh, children's toy, I believe. Really? That's, oh, the toy. That's Ebos right. are fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Am I right, Moan? All right. Alip Bata made his dynamo bow that he uses for this song out of a children's toy, right? Yes, from a children's toy. That's true. That's correct. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, cool. Alip Bata is really, really creative. If you don't know about him, uh, Uncle, just like... Mm -hmm. Like I'm come in his home and everything he do is really really creative. <laughs> As I've ever seen in my life, because like one week ago I met with him. Like I become from UK that time I come to Jakarta and meet with him. Just everything I see in my life that's really really unique. And that guitar, Alibata guitar, that's not normal guitar I know <laughs> because I see in real life. Like example like in the back from the guitar or the machine or i don't know what he do in that guitar the real guitar <laughs> we always see the guitar he play that's not normal guitar that's not not normal guitar yeah. like that. he arranged man he do everything in the back oh my god i don't know that. yeah i mean like i said as as a beginning guitarist watch it guitar player watching him like as a beginner i'm just like <laughs> blown away <laughs> really Absolutely. blown away like, like simple like this like simple like this if you watch guitar if you watch guitar like Ali Bata guitar is like, like this is normal 
if yeah. you see from in the front is like normal but if we see in here alibata is not normal everything right. in here have machine i don't understand what it, it do like that really i know wow yeah. really okay uh, he 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 met a he probably met a particular someone down at the crossroads right <laughs> anybody no bad joke <laughs> uh, faustian <laughs> huh? That's, I didn't I get it. Think. I didn't get it at first. <laughs> yeah, it took me a while. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. No, wait, I don't want any more claims. Ching, ching. Wait, wait, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, Sorry. Matthew. Don't. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone. I'm super excited. We've got 136 view, 138 viewers. Keep it coming, yeah. guys. Mash the like button. Let's keep growing this stream. This is so much fun. More Elite Bata to come. So mash that like button. Subscribe to all of our channels here, creating an awesome network of hashtag Leapers love. So next video we are all reacting to is, without further ado, Musicians panel reacts to The Last of the Mohicans. Main title, guitar cover by the one and only Alip Bata. Here we go. So oh much. my god, I was talking before I hit the mute button. Oops, I mean, before I hit it, yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, those, oh. those rolls are uh are quite hard to get down. I, I'm just beginning to get them down, those like up and down. I mean, even that, just that motion is like it, it takes a while. Oh, 
Wow. They looked really hard. <laughs> I haven't gotten that far in guitar yet. They, really they, good, look, though. they look hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he does such a great job mimicking that violin part. Yeah. And hitting the open strings to back it up. And I don't know if it's like, I because I have an actual Dunlop Ebo. And I was trying, and in one video a long time ago, a few months ago anyway, um, trying to mimic those sounds. And the way that I was able yeah. to mimic it was by actually like pressing the Ebo actually down in the string enough that it would like sometimes like hit the plastic of the Ebo a little bit. So it kind of like the way he kind of gave it that grainy, almost like a vocal fry, you know, uh, right? The way you ease into yeah. it, you're singing, right? So it's like the same kind of an, an idea. But I think other commenters were saying that um, the Ebo was made specifically to make that kind of sound, the dynamo that he made. It's a different sound than a regular standard Ebo. So who wants to talk about this one? There's so much to talk about. I know. Yeah. <laughs> we cannot, I cannot talk everything about Alibaba. I just only know this beautiful and that is really, really nice song. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, um, he amazes me because it sounds like he's doing, it almost sounds like it's a backtrack, but it's not like he's doing all that. And I'm just like, how in the heck? <laughs> but then I watch him and it's just even more amazing every time I see it. Like, honestly, just, just yeah, amazing. Cause definitely. it sounds, it sounds like he could actually be doing that with a backtrack, but we know he's not, you know, that's just so yeah. cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll try. Like I said, that that one, that one, I was actually thinking of doing a flute flute collab. Maybe that would be fun. That would be really cool. <laughs> oh, you'll be you'll yeah. be so melodic. So Thanks. Good. Yeah, I'll see if I could do that. That'd be fun. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, just just make sure you trust his his sound more than the tuner. It might be it might be spot on. It sounds to yeah. me to be slightly under concert pitch, and I'm not I'm not mm -hmm. perfect pitch. I don't know, but just maybe slightly mm -hmm. under, like yeah. 10, 15 cents. I don't know. Um, that would be okay for my flute, actually. So, <laughs> well, yeah, and, <laughs> that would work out. <laughs> and you know, I, I I wonder if he experiments with different uh, tunings, like four thirty two hertz or four forty four hertz, because um, this is getting really nerdy here. But like <laughs> music uh, tuned to four forty is just not that great. And like the orchestras used to always tune to four forty four or four forty five hertz. And it's mm -hmm. just this triumphant, uh, uh, like, uh, uh. beautiful sound. And then when the upright piano was invented, right, it didn't, they just cut it off to 440 or tuned it out that way. I'm not sure exactly how it happened, uh, but that just became standard uh, across everyone. It, it, so I wonder uh, if he, some of the songs I, would be tuned I, to I'd 432. Like to chime in and Go ahead. That was actually the reason why. They started tuning to 440 is because various countries had different like um, hertz that they would go by, mm -hmm. like country even country to country back in the 1800s, and they were just trying to standardize it more. So, and I I don't know if I, I I mean I've looked into this a bit myself, and I've tuned to 432, and yeah, I guess it's less harsh, but I don't know. I mean. Yeah, I, I guess it depends. Uh, but I was going to say, yeah, it's, I guess it's up for debate. Uh, for, for my that, rock that opera? One, I, it just, the, the first half, the first album, I tuned to 440. And then the second hour, I tuned to 444. And it sounds a lot different. It, it, uh, it's, I don't, if you listen to, if you listen to both, and I mean, it's not just the tuning. It's that they're different songs, too. They're recorded later. So, you know, arguably I had more time to, you know, hone my craft. But the point is just the tuning alone makes a difference. Because if you if you listen to the last 15 seconds and then go right into the next album, like, you can feel the shift. You don't hear the pitch change. But it's just like, ooh, that's nice. You know what I mean? I, don't, I can't explain it. Yeah. So I was just wondering if he experiments yeah. with those different I, tunings. I mean, it's possible, yeah. Seems like yeah. he might. Big tangent, guys. Big tangent. That's all my fault. See, my, 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 my ears caused that one. So keep 
chatting away, make sure you mash that like button. Subscribe to all of our channels. Moan Prank, Sarah Olson, Evelyn Holland, subscribe, Holland, subscribe, and subscribe to Jennifer's your channel. Page. And to Matthew's Music. Yes, Matthew's Music Lesson Studio. And since we're talking about that real quick, there's four ways you can support me right now. Support the studio in new ways. Patreon for exclusive weekly bonus content, some of which are Elite Bata collaboration videos and React videos. So for weekly content bonus, go to Patreon, support me monthly. Libera Pay for weekly, that's the nonprofit where they don't take a cut. That's really cool. So if you want to help me directly, send me weekly dollars at liberapay.com. You can buy me a coffee. Kopi mana kopi. I need more and, coffee. Uh, it's getting low at Matthew's can I, Music. Can I explain for Alipers with Bahasa, Uncle? That's okay. About what you're talking about before, about your Patreon and everything. I mean, I want to explain for Alipers with Bahasa. With oh, Bahasa. please. Yeah. So, guys, tadi... Uh, Uncle Matthew say, jika kalian ingin uh, bergabung di dalam Patreonnya, dia punya akses yang sangat-sangat bagus sekali untuk Patreonnya. Jadi buat teman-teman semua yang ingin bergabung with uh, Patreon, Matthew Patreon, link already in the description, you can check and everything. Jadi kalian bisa cek linknya semua yang sudah disediakan sama Patreon oleh Matthew. Saya bilang sangat luar biasa dan saya sangat mengapresiasi bisa ada di sini dengan para musisi-musisi hebat ya Allah ya Allah oh, but this is really really amazing that's it I'm already explained <laughs> thank you QQ shout out you just subscribed I appreciate subscribe that subscribe to your channel hey. yep okay uncle I just wanna say I must uh, I think I need to sleep right now because sure. it's like 3 in the morning oh my goodness it's okay. <laughs> thanks so much for being here in the us, morning thank in, you yeah, thanks it's for... in Bali but I am really happy uncle and everybody here already invite me I really thank you so much and I hope one day maybe uncle and everybody wanna come to Indonesia special in Bali I just say yeah. That's yes. so much fun. Yes. Yeah, thank, you so much. thank you. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. And I'm I'll be sending you, you clips, but I'll be sending you clips when they're ready. So uh, keep keep an eye out. Let's keep in touch. Thank you so much for being here with us. Moan prank, thank everyone. Nice to, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.